Hey, beautiful people. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. And thank you very much for the patronage. I really appreciate it. Today, we're going back to Dan Biddle, who is the president of Genesis Apologetics. You know, you would think that if these creationists really were trying to debunk evolution instead of, you know, scamming people, that they would actually learn something about evolution instead of strawmanning it. But they don't. At any rate, let's see if he can be a, a little bit smarter this time, and I can spend more time going through some of this stuff instead of spending my time correcting his dumb ass on things that he should know if he wants to be teaching this shit. So balls in your court, Dan. Um, what kind of stupid you got for me today? And uh, might I suggest you sit down because um, I really don't want to see you hurting yourself. I mean, yeah, we are on opposite sides of the playing field, but you're still a human and you deserve compassion. And while you're thinking about it, if you're new, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you've already subscribed to me, make sure you're still subscribed. Because for some reason, YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. Also, if you're new here, I'd like to thank you very much uh, for giving me a chance. And for my fans and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. You are the lifeblood of this channel. And now, with that, let's get on with the video. Romans 1 says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest to them. For God has showed it to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. You see how God's saying, look, everybody's on the hook. No one's off the hook. Everybody knows internally there's a creator because I'm, I'm, I'm revealed it to them. Being understood by the things that are made. Even his eternal power in Godhead. So God's saying, people know I'm the creator because they look around and I'm manifest in nature. They know this, that this didn't happen. So they're without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And and they changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like a corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Do you know this is still going on today? God, I hate Paul. Anybody who's watched my channel for any amount of time knows that I hate Paul. Paul just showed himself to be a moron to every atheist by thinking that he could read our minds, and you're a moron for believing him. Look, I know this is really hard for you to understand, so I'm going to break it down as simply as I can. All right? All right. Listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. We do not know that there is a God who created the universe and neither do you. So don't even go there. And before you even bring up the lame-ass watchmaker argument, I'm going to go ahead and pre-bunk it. We know that watches have makers. That's why it would be incredibly dumb for anybody to argue otherwise. On the other hand, we don't know universes have makers. And I find it absolutely hilarious that Paul cannot go a few words without contradicting himself, which, once again, just shows how idiotic he really is. The invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. How can something invisible be clearly seen? Moving along, if you read on from professing themselves 
wise, they became fools and traded the creator for the creation or what the fuck ever. Um, Christians do that in trading the quote-unquote uncorruptible God for the image of Jesus, who is a man. And yeah, I know the apologetic for this is the Trinity and yada, 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 and Jesus is God in flesh and blah, 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 blah. But um, you really don't pay much attention to your own book, do you? Because um, Jesus never claimed to be God or even the Son of God. You're a moron! But it gets even worse. Here's a natural history muse museum in Washington, D.C. It's got a little throne room. Oh my fucking God, Dan. What world are you living in that that counts as a throne room? It's not a throne room, you idiot. This is a throne room. Now, granted, it's a European throne room, and throne rooms from around the world probably look a lot different, but they're still going to be opulent. Come on, if you're going to lie, at least do it in a convincing manner. But then again, you are preaching to the converted, so you probably don't have to be very convincing now do you and you know that and that's why you're treating them like stupid little shits that should care what you say and on the outside of the throne room it says come meet one of your oldest relatives it's like a shrine they have these big pillars here and they've got the mammal orders going up here in the so now it's a shrine a shrine like this um would you please make up your goddamn mind dan in fact do you have a mind to make up is it a throne room or is it a shrine make up your goddamn mind it cannot be both because as you can clearly see they are different walk in and you think well my gosh what do they have here on a little altar in the middle of this little shrine throne room well that's what they have a little golden rat that they say we evolved from isn't that uncanny the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life that brought me to tears as creation related is in the same museum well he's fairly intelligent ah, he's full of shit <laughs> Did you hear that, Dan? That was me facepalming. Seriously. That's not an altar, dude. You are a fucking Christian. You know what an altar is. You're just trying to muck up the waters because you can. You thrive on all this shitty attention. That is a display case. You know, like the kind you would see if you went into a jewelry store or a fucking museum, which you just said this was the Natural History Museum. So, okay, uh, dude, you need help with the English. And there's the title of this video. Dude, nobody... And I mean, nobody says we evolved from rats, except you fucking idiots. That is a straw man. We did not evolve from fucking rats. Because you know what? They're an extinct species. We evolved from a rat-like animal. Come on. Do better than this. And... Unfortunately for me, I used to be a young Earth creationist, so I know where you're going with the golden rat thing. All right, you're going to say that it's an idol. Okay, fair enough. 
very well could have been an idol for whoever the fuck made it. It's certainly not an idol to us. Now, I don't believe a word you say. And you don't give us an up-close-and-personal look. Hmm, I wonder why that might be of the shrine, as you put it. That is, we can see you gave a close-up of the rat. Hmm, funny you should do that and not give us the close-up of the shrine. So, I have no idea what those walls say. The saddest thing I've ever seen in my life that brought me to tears that's creation related is in the same museum, you can go over to a little spot where they have a whole bunch of computers and, and this place was crowded. There was like 40 people there trying to do this. You had like six different stations. You walk up and you choose your human evolution icon. It could be Lucy or Homo erectus or Neanderthal, whatever. And it would take a picture of you and it would superimpose a picture of Lucy onto your fence. Kind of merge the two. And then I realized, okay, I see what you're doing, Satan. You have an insatiable desire to corrupt the image of God. Yeah. Who's the image bearer? We are. We're made in the image of God. And so you go to the Natural History Museum and they're like, hey, take a, a picture of your face. We'll take some ape icon, the image of an ape, and swish it over your image of God. And I'm sitting there watching people. So you're telling me you actually talked to an imaginary Descartes evil being in your mind? That shit can be dangerous. Be careful. But seriously, dude, if you really do that, go to a fucking psychiatrist, please. Moving on to this Christian narcissism. Well, Danny boy, if we are made in the image of God... Kind of hate to break it to you, but so are the apes. You know, because uh, we are apes. We never stopped being apes, and we will be apes. Look, just because your overinflated ego cannot handle the truth does not stop it from being the truth. Okay? All right. Because... I'm sorry, Danny boy. You're an ape. So am I. Watching people line up to do this, and they have no idea how they're participating in the mockery of God. It was sad. It, you can't get mad. You just, you just have to be sad about it. Oh, my fucking God. What he just said is so fucking stupid. You know what? Instead of addressing the mockery of God thing, can I just make a mockery of him? I mean, because it's fair, right? They're not mocking God, you asshole. In fact, most of them are probably Christians because most of the United States of America is Christian and so these people are probably admiring God's work. Oh, and by the way, for those who aren't Christians, most of them believe in at least one God and some are atheists. Honestly, Dan, before you even try judging perfect strangers who you have no idea about have you ever thought of i don't know maybe talking to them well novel idea huh but in the middle of this little shrine room on the altar they have this little creature here and they say uh but a close relative of this tiny creature was the first mammal on earth its dna was passed on to billions of descendants including you so that's the little four-footed creature that they're worshiping today. But So, Danny boy, let me ask you something. Are you one of these Kent Hovens that thinks that evolution is a religion? Because I can fucking tell you it isn't. It's just a fact of life. And whether you like it or not, it's the truth. So get used to it. Logic did a great breakdown of this idea that evolution is a religion in one of his hello 
my name is Kent Hovind videos. Can't remember which one it is right now. Um, but it's, it's not a religion. No. A lot of people from a lot of walks of life, including different religions, accept the theory and fact of evolution. I mean, hell, even you people admit that it happens, even though you don't call it that. Jesus said, the, the Pharisees all came up to Jesus, tempting him and saying unto him, is it lawful for a man to put away his life for every cause? And he answered and said unto them, have ye not read? Then he goes on, he says, so he says, guys, haven't you read the scriptures? Haven't you read Torah? And then he quotes from Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, 24. He says, that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. And he said, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and the twain shall become one flesh. So what does Jesus say? At the beginning, God made them male and female. And that same Torah says, right at the beginning, as, as Adam and Eve were made as a capstone of his creation, everything was done, they were the last things made. They go out and what did they do? They named everything, took dominion everything over everything. And when they slipped and fell into sin, everything was corrupted. Romans 8 says the, the world groans under the way of sin that was started by Adam and Eve. We are not impressed with you quoting Bible verses at us. I know your little sheeple are, and I know that's who you're preaching to, so you don't have to do much to say to them, hey, this is true, but you know what? Not everyone believes it's true. And just a little aside here, I find it hilarious and very comforting that you have to try this hard to keep your sheeple in line and believing your nonsense because people are smartening the fuck up. Okay, back to this nonsense. Do you have any idea how narcissistic you sound? We're the pinnacle of God's creation. God created us last so that everything was here when we needed it. Have you ever thought, I know it's hard for you to think, but have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, evolution happened the way it happened because it was the only way it could happen? Of course we need what we need to survive. Now, I am in no way implying that evolution had to happen that way. I'm implying that evolution had to happen the way it happened for this world and these animals to be living right now. And you act as if God, if he exists, really gives a fuck about his quote-unquote creation, which even according to to your own fucking book, he doesn't, because he is quite willing to flood the world, which didn't happen, just because we were the way he made us, because let's face it, if Adam and Eve really sinned, which again didn't happen, but if that's the way it went down, that's the only way it could have gone down because you're God's a fucker. And one more point and then I'll shut up on this subject. You know, I get really, really tired of Christians pointing to this verse. Of course, Jesus thought that Adam and Eve were the beginning of creation. You dumb fuck. If he was a real man, which I really haven't made up my mind. I really don't care. Um, he was a Jew. He would believe that. That's what Jews believe. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, friends, I wanted to give you your 
weekly dose of stupid, but like all things, you can overdose on the stupid. So I'm going to call it quits for now. Thank you for watching. I put a lot of clips in here because there were some things I wasn't quite sure about. So other people who know a lot more than I do about these topics would be the ideal ones to explain these topics, which is why I put in clips of them explaining. Plus, I mean, come on, they do it a lot better than I could. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what I do, please subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Uh, please like the video. It um, pumps up the algorithm. Leave a comment down below. That also helps the algorithm. And please share this video, especially with any young Earth friends. If you are financially able, please join this channel. You can join for as little as 99 cents a month. You get custom emojis and you also get these debunks early. So only if you are financially uh, stable and I will see you guys later. Bye!